So guys, today I've got something different for you. It's not a player review, but it is team of the season based. It's a team of the season hybrid squad. Now, I've done a few player reviews over the past few days, and I don't think I'll get a chance to review, you know, everyone individually. So what I've done is I've picked three players that I do want to use from the team of the season gold, most consistent team. I've thrown them in a squad, and today we're going to talk about how that team played. Now, before we continue, in the comments below, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know which team of the season players so far you have used and how they were for you. Let me know how you're getting on, if you've packed anyone as well, and I'll be sure to reply to pretty much every comment that I can. Also, if you could leave a like on the video, as always, you know, that'd be awesome. Anyway, back to the squad. Before we see the team, I just want to point out quickly, I did try and keep the squad as cheap as possible, just so everyone can afford to pick it up and try it out if they wanted to. It does cost just under 100k, which I think is a good price for um a team that featured three team of the season players and I think that's affordable for most people at this stage in FIFA. So guys, let me introduce you to the three team of the season players that feature in this hybrid squad. To start off with, we've got Lucas Torreira from the Serie A, we've got Danilo Pereira from the Portuguese League and in the, from the Argentinian League, we've got ourselves Sebastian Driussi. So let's talk a bit more about his team this season cards. To start off, we've got Lucas Torreira, who I found to be a very solid centre mid, and in game he's very quick, he's good on the ball, he's agile, his passing is brilliant, I think he's got like 96, 97, maybe 98 short passing, which obviously is a very impressive stat. I also found defensively he was pretty solid too, although I definitely wouldn't recommend it CDM due to his strength. Still, very solid centre mid, good stamina as well so he can go for the full game, and for 20k, you know, I don't think he can complain too much. He's pretty much discard, so I think he's worth trying out. Drew UC is up next, and you know why I picked him. I picked him because he's a very nice, pacey looking card, and in game, he actually was really good for me and scored some very good goals. He's not as strong as I'd like him to be, and he can be knocked off a bit, but on the ball, when he gets going, this card can be absolutely lethal. And I'll probably definitely use this card again. I just wish he had a better weak foot because his left foot, to be honest, it's, um, it's crap. His right foot is very good. The third and final team season in the squad is, of course, Daniel Pereira, who was very freaking solid. He's like a perfect CDM. I know I played him in the centre mid role, but he would he would be amazing at CDM. So if you've got a DM slot in your squad, try this guy out. He will be absolutely solid for you. He wins a lot of aerial battles. He's very strong. He's brilliant defensively. He's actually got a very good shot on him, and also his passing is very good as well. Also, he's pretty quick. You know, he's just perfectly rounded, perfect. For that CDM role. So guys, now you know about the team this season card, let me introduce you to the rest of the team. And we're going to start off with the back line. And I'm going to be looking in this direction because that's where my TV is. Anyway, in goal, we've gone for Wojciech Szczesny just because, you know, that's the way I orientated the defence. You can pretty much go with any Serie A centre-back and goalkeeper partnership that you want that gets full chem. So, um, yeah, I just went with the Roma combination of Manolas and Szczesny. At right back, we have Samedo. I absolutely love this right back in this game. Very pacey, very physical, very good defensively. Just a solid right back card. Next to him is another player called Samedo. This time we've got a guy who is strong. He's got good work rates. He's good defensively and he's quick. He's a perfect centre back for this year's ultimate team. And that's why Ruben Samedo made it into my squad. Very solid. Manolas, um, I don't think I need to tell you about this card because you'll have all have used him at this point or at least come up against him. He is one of the best centre-backs in the game. Very good as well. Only 5k, so, you know, can't complain there. And at left-back, we've got Van Gioni, who was just pretty damn pacey, so I put him in there. Haven't used him much this year, so I thought I'd try him, and overall, he was pretty solid. Midfield-wise, there's only one player for me to introduce you to, and that's Biglia. Um, he's pretty much the link-up player. He gets everyone full chem nicely. Well, he will in a moment. And um, he was pretty solid in the middle, no complaints about him, wish he was a bit better going forward, but um, a pretty damn solid player to have in your centre mid nevertheless. So now we complete the team with the two wing forwards, at right forward we've got ourselves Eduardo Salvio, who I thought was really good in this team, I don't actually normally like him on FIFA, but um, I needed him for chem in this squad, and he did a really good job in this squad to be fair, the same can actually be said for Gomez, now I love his central striker card, but his wing card I don't normally get along with, but in this squad, both the wingers just played really well and supported the striker a lot, which I liked. So, how did the team perform overall? Um, I'd say pretty well. We won four out of the five games that I played, and I felt like the attackers definitely complemented each other. That's why you'll see that like all the attackers have got a pretty high number of assists, because they're link-up played together, and yeah, they just 
played well. They just linked up together. I don't know how else to describe it. They played well, um, passing between each other and breaking down defences. The midfield as a whole, it is a bit defence heavy. And that's one thing you'll notice. But if you struggle with defending, maybe you'll really like this midfield. And the defence overall, to be honest, was pretty solid. I'd probably want a better goalkeeper um, in net if I was going to take this team into like foot champs or something. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Overall, a very solid side. Especially considering the cost of the team as well. So, you know, not too bad at all. Just quickly, guys, we will look at the custom tactics. You've seen them before in many other videos. I don't really change my custom tactics up for whatever formation I use. I up the speed and put it onto the offensive line of cover. And that's pretty much it. That's all I do. Oh, I also up the aggression a little bit, but... Yeah, I don't really change custom tactics too much. Player instruction wise, we've got Biglia to stay back and also we've got the striker to get in behind, but you know, other than that, I haven't changed anything. So, you know, there's my incredible custom tactics if you really want to know them. I'm not a really good FIFA player, so I probably wouldn't take FIFA advice from me. Anyway, guys, that is my team of the season hybrid squad. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this squad in the comments below. I'm pretty old school with squad builders, so I'm going to leave you with some um, clips with some music played over them just because, you know, I like that old school squad builder uh, kind of format. So that's what I'm going to leave you with. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like on it. If you've tried any of these team season cards, let me know how they were for you. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch you in the next one. Okay. Better. Trying to switch on the point through.